Law enforcement and activists want your help to put an end to human trafficking and sadly many cases involve children. Cases are being cracked right here in East Texas. CBS 19's Jamie Garrick is in the newsroom now with more on efforts to crush the second fastest growing criminal activity in the world, which is alarming, Jamie. That's right, Jillian. We know that that underground activity is present here with I-20 being nicknamed the sexual slavery superhighway. But it's not always easy to see, and that's why the event in downtown Tyler today hope to educate people on the problem so that they can be part of the solution. And as you're about to see, the victims of these crimes aren't always women. Anywhere you go, this is really an issue. Brandon Darby the, the doesn't enjoy opening up about what happened when he was 13 years uh, old. It's very demoralizing for children. He says after suffering abuse by a family member, he ran away from his Houston home and wound up fighting to survive on the streets. He became a victim of human trafficking. After a number of days and, and, and such without water or food or really having any shelter or any security, they fall into the first person or group who will give them security and oftentimes those people who are there are there to take advantage of those people. Darby explains the shame he felt at such a young age kept him from reaching for help. This is over a period of time I think that kids just get really beaten down. After two years Darby had the courage to get out and get under the roof of a loving family member. And that passion comes from what I experienced when I was 13 and 14 years old. He's since become an activist, so people know it's not victim. just a problem happening overseas. Sure they think it's, some, it's people in a shipment coming from Mexico or coming from China. Um, and sometimes they think it's the same thing as human smuggling, which is not the case. Human trafficking is either done for labor or it's done for, for sex. As long as we have one individual girl or boy trafficked, that's all we need. We don't need statistics to do something about it. Smith County Sheriff Larry Smith told the crowd of 100 people today that all law enforcement agencies are turning on the heat. What we've been dealing with is the drug trafficking and the prostitution. He says tips called in can help tremendously, but it starts with knowing that the problem exists. I heard about it about four years ago and I just I had no idea and I just couldn't believe it and it just broke my heart. To commemorate the occasion, Mayor Barbara Bass declared today anti-human trafficking day for the city of Tyler. And urge all citizens to join in raising awareness to this problem and to work to find a solution. And the three groups who organized this event, Liberty Task Force, Refuge of Light, and For the Silent, all are teaming up for the same mission. There's already even been a groundbreaking on a safe house for girls. Jillian? So disturbing to hear that it's happening right here. Now, Jamie, you mentioned that a, a big part of helping put criminals away is people keeping a lookout for suspicious activities. So what are those signs? Jillian, sadly the facts show that children are the most common victims, particularly girls and runaways. So what you're looking for is a kid who may have a history of abuse in their family, somebody who has low self-esteem and may be showing signs of bad behavior or acting out with mood swings. If you do see those signs, you are encouraged to report it. In the newsroom, I'm Jamie Garrick. Back to you. All right, thank you, Jamie. And you know, they, sometimes they say this happens at hotels. So keep an eye out if you see something odd as you're even checking in or out exactly. of one.